welcome back to my channel for another video. I am about to start a little project and I thought I would bring you along with me. If you guys saw my recent coffee favorites video, then you probably would have already seen the finished product to this because that video is coming out a couple of days before this one is. This is kind of just the bonus video to go hand in hand with that one. But in order to get that video done, I have to get this project done. And it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. It's a space that I go every single day and every single day I think I've got to fix this. It's become cluttered, disorganized, it's become a catch-all. There's just a bunch of stuff up there that I don't use very often. And so I'm gonna be organizing as well as giving this little area a facelift. It is much needed and I love doing little projects like this. It just makes me feel so good. If you enjoy this video while you're watching it or if you get any sort of inspiration from it, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this or take you along my little organizational journeys that I go on randomly from time to time. But that is enough rambling. I've got to get on with this project. Right now over here, it is looking particularly disheveled. This is like going to be a great before and after because this is just such a bad before. So we have this wire shelf. The lights on it were just a random thing I threw up there just a couple of days ago from the boys' birthday party. But it is full of just a bunch of random things. And then I keep my espresso machine area pretty neat and tidy, but right now I've been working on that Coffee Favorites video and so I've got a bunch of random stuff and I spilled coffee, a pile of coffee grounds here earlier. That is beside the point. That's just something that needs to be cleaned up. But this shelf up here is the main eyesore and the thing that I'm going to be changing. So this is something that I picked up from the clearance section at Target. I think because there's a couple of scuffs on it, it was marked down. This is normally $39.99 and I got it for $17, I think, and it's this shelf. But this one is a little bit too long. If I got the 24 inch one, it would actually be more expensive than the one that was marked down. So I decided to get the cheaper one. I'm going to cut this down. And right now, I actually just went outside and I took some copper spray paint and painted the brass little brackets a copper tone because that's what I have all throughout the kitchen. That's the metallic in my kitchen. I'm going to link everything that I can for you guys um, in the description box if you want to check it out for yourself. But I am modifying things. I just wanted to throw that out there. It's not going to look exactly like this once it's up there, but this is the starting point. And then today at Kroger, I picked up these little canisters. So I'm gonna have one for tea, one for coffee, and they have a seal on them, which when they are sealed down, they will hopefully keep the coffee and tea pretty fresh. That's what I'm hoping at least. So I just don't have random bags of halfway used coffee sitting up there on that shelf. That's part of the problem. So hopefully this will be part of the solution. Right now I'm just waiting for those uh, wall brackets to dry. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to start clearing out what's up here. I'm keeping my eye on the boys who are, I'm watching them through the garage right now. They're playing on their new bicycles that they just got for their birthday outside in our driveway. And Haley is taking a nap. So it's a perfect opportunity to get this stuff. you're a coffee snob when you cringe at the sight of Yvonne. And I'm cringing at the fact that I cringe at this because I never wanted to be that person. Anyone else have a spouse who commits this sort of heresy? What is this? So I've organized into different categories here. Um, this is just like decor. So I will choose from that after I've put other like essential things on the shelf. And over here I have like ingredients. So sweeteners and I have some MCT oil, some spices, which you will have seen these in my coffee favorites video. I have some tools, um, things that I use when I'm like mixing up my coffee or whatever. Of course, a coffee grinder. And then I have some bags of the coffee that I use. Um, these are like the coffee grounds or whole beans that I use for my coffee. I have a couple of expired bags that were shoved to the bottom that I just need to throw away. And then I have tea, which I'm not really a tea drinker. So I've got to weed down this 
collection. First thing I'm actually getting rid of is this Thai tea. As much as I love Thai tea, it has red 40 dye in it, and I have recently found out that that is a severe allergy of mine. So this, along with this, is gonna get thrown away, which I hate throwing perfectly good food away. We really try to not have much food waste, but this is one of those things that just has to go. I'm going to transfer these single teas um, from this crock into the new white ones that I got. I don't like see-through storage, so I'm going to put this into the white storage container um, and add some of my red raspberry leaf tea, and I've got some chai spice here, and then my sister Sarah gave me this ginger turmeric, and again, I don't drink tea very often, so it just sits in here for a while, and I, when I have guests over that do drink tea, we just grab from this collection. This is a new tea that I've tried. I picked this up at Target, and it's actually really, really good, so I'll probably display this this on the shelf because it's such a pretty tin and it's perfect for the season that we're in but I will decide on that in a little bit I could just stick my face in this all day <laughs> some things that I can't recycle and then this cardboard from my tea boxes I'm gonna go throw in the recycle bin. If you guys have seen my videos before, you have seen me share about these Why Weave little organizational storage baskets from uh, Target. And these go on sale every once in a while and I always pick up a bundle of them when they do because I find spots in my house all the time where I can use these. I had an extra one on hand, so I am going to put a couple of little coffee making tools as well as some like sweeteners and other ingredients in here. And that's going to be stored in my cabinet underneath my espresso machine. I recently organized under there and I have a little bit of extra space, so that is perfect. So I'm gonna put some stuff in here and then I think I'll be ready to hang my shelf. everything fit absolutely perfectly with only just a little bit of room to spare in case I acquire another ingredient for coffee time which I know I will because I'm always changing it up so this is going in that little cabinet under the espresso machine hey honey hey so your coffee maker brewer could we find another spot for it since we really don't use it every day and we have such a small kitchen and it's kind of ugly? Can I take your coffee machine and horrible coffee out of here? Okay. And how, how difficult do you think it would be for me to use your skill saw and cut down a panel, uh, like a shelf? It's a, just a flat board. I'm putting a shelf up instead of that wire basket, which is a catch-all and looks horrible. Believe me, you're gonna love the result. When you're not the only adult in the house, you definitely should run it by the other adult before you start making changes because I never use this coffee brewer. He does sometimes. So that's going out along with the horrible coffee that he drinks. <laughs> and it's just gonna be my espresso machine here. And honestly, if I had it my way, if I could like totally transform this space, I would get something different as far as the cart that it's on. But I don't have the budget for something new right now, so I'm gonna make do with what I have. I'm gonna keep that there. It stores everything just fine. It's perfectly functional. It's just not the prettiest thing that I could have. Um, at some point, I wanna get a white one or paint this one white, but I'm not prepared to do that today. I've already kind of gotten in over my head with the project at hand. <laughs> who's up just in time to show you guys the after. Just a little tour of the shelf. I'm going to get a real plant. I wanna get like a little ivy plant to uh, hang down and grow here. Then I have a little decorative pumpkin. That's the coppery rose gold color. 
a little real baby pumpkin. I've got the pumpkin spice tea can, which I think is really pretty up here, and the tea crock the coffee crock. I have my French press, which I need to wipe out. It's got condensation in there. And another little pumpkin, and then I use this whisk when I make my special pumpkin spice latte, which go watch that video of my uh, fall coffee favorites so you can see the recipe for that. But as you can see, I've got the copper rose gold theme going on and the little brackets underneath the shelf really tie that all in. It definitely would have clashed if I kept the brass brackets. And the espresso machine itself, I've got just little hearth and hand measuring cups here. I don't know if they'll stay there, but it was a good spot for them for right now. And then I have my fruit basket, which fits here again now that we don't have the uh, coffee brewer. And I've got little pumpkin and apples in it for right now. So the final cost of all of this, ever, anything new that I needed to buy, the $17 for the shelf, which I actually realized I had an extra 20% off of that um, because it was like a clearance item. And so it was even cheaper than that. You do the math. Um, and then let's see what else. Oh, and then I bought the two Crocs, which they were $15.99 each and then buy one, get one free. So two for the price of one is really good. So we're coming under about $30 here. And I will probably even make that back when I sell the old storage unit and then that little glass crock that I held my tea in. So I'll just like Craigslist or a buy sell swap that. Well, I am so satisfied with this project and so happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this week's little extra video and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and sprucing up my coffee area. It was fun to be able to share it with you guys. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if there's a spot in your house that needs a little sprucing up. Is there a spot kind of like my little espresso stand that has been nagging you? And if you did find any inspiration from this video and it inspired you to go spruce up a little spot in your house, then take a picture of it and tag me on Instagram. I would definitely love to see that. I've got to get dinner on the table and say goodbye to you guys for now. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later.